the ancients softened the Cyclopean stone walls, a strange version. Now we have the Cyclopean walls in ancient Greece, but we see them like this one here is from Machu Picchu, uh, the Incas uh, construction in uh, South America. And we find that they're very well fitted. You can't even put a pin through the uh, seams of the stones and they seem to be inflated. And this is a cyclopean wall, polygonal walls in Greece, in ancient Greece. The ancient construction shows that they had a technology as to how to soften these stones. There was a way, they said, to soften the stones that was known by our ancestors, the walls of the Acro Corinth, the area of Corinth. Uh, we know that every city in ancient Greece had an Acropolis. The Acropolis of Corinth is called Acro Corinth. They are made of massive stones, megalithic constructions, perfectly connected to each other without the use of adhesive material. And we have such walls in other parts of ancient uh, from the construction in Greece as well as other parts of the world, such as Peru, and the famous wall of Kiko and Cusco. And uh, we wonder how they were built. And the writer says, the mystery, I think, is solved. British research Colonel Percy Fawcett, the researcher, observed that in the forests of Peru and Bolivia that cover the slopes of the Andes Mountains, lives a small bird similar to the kingfisher here. It makes its nest in the rocks, which are completely round. The strange thing is that it does not find the holes ready, but he makes the, the bird makes the holes himself. And how he makes them was the unsolved mystery because the rocks are very hard. The British researcher, Colonel Percy Fawcett, observed that the bird, with a plant leaf which it had in its beak, rubbed the surface of the stone in a circular motion until the leaf dissolved. Then the bird brought another leaf and continued the same work. The rock paradoxically softened and then formed its nest. The, our ancestors knew this plant, and by making the stones like plasticine, they were able to build these walls that do not fit a single blade between them. Not to mention, Tim, there are several other possible versions, such as that they knew how to cast stone as we cast cement today. Air bubbles have been found in several of these uh, analyzed. Cons consequently, they do not have to carry massive rocks from anywhere nor cut them. As we cast cement, they used to cast stone. In other words, were they making something like bricks, but casting these bricks as we would cast cement? And that is why they're bloated like this. It's still a mystery. This is uh, translated by me from a Greek article. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.